it's Rory Piper here for iJailbreak.com. Uh, in this video, we are taking a look at the Absinthe Jailbreak. That's the new jailbreak out for the A5 uh, iOS devices. That includes iPad 2 and the iPhone 4S. So this one we're doing the iPhone 4S. I'll show you that. That does in fact have Siri there. And uh, we are on uh, iOS uh, 5.0.1. Uh, the Absence Jailbreak will do iOS 5 as well. Uh, so if you're looking to unlock your iPhone 4S, uh, you should stay at iOS 5 as there's a, a better chance of the f firmware for that, uh, sorry, the uh, baseband for that firmware being unlocked. So let's take a look at the jailbreak. Um, it's a simple one-click jailbreak. Uh, this this GUI was put out by the Chronic Dev Team, but uh, the whole process was worked on by the iPhone Dev Team and a, a slew of others, uh, all on a Pod 2G's uh, work that he found the exploits for the A5 processor, and uh, everyone worked hard on it to get it out there. So uh, let's take a look. Um, uh, there have been some reports that the jailbreak does take a long time depending on the state of your device. Uh, we, we did the iPad 2 earlier and uh, before restoring it, uh, it took forever and forever. Uh, so we did a fresh restore and the whole jailbreak took about five minutes. Uh, so uh, I'm, uh, on my iPhone 4S I have not restored it. Uh, so we're going to see see how it goes and we may end up uh, doing a fresh restore and starting it over. So uh, if this does take a long time, we'll fast forward through it, but uh, here we go. We're going to click jailbreak now. Alright, so we fast forwarded through a bit there, but it looks like uh, the jailbreak is going as planned. You'll see the screen that says restore in progress. Uh, don't worry about that. It's not really restoring it. It's just part of the jailbreak. Okay, it looks like that stage is done, so we're waiting for a reboot. Of course it says not done yet, don't unplug your device yet. But we're getting closer. Again, if we go through any steps that take a long time, we'll, we'll skip through. Okay, it looks like that stage is done. Now we can go to phone here. On the screen we should see the absinthe jailbreak there. And we'll tap that. And this redirects to the Green Poison website and it grabs more data from there. And then the uh, phone will restart again here. Alright, so after running the Absinthe app, it's uh, rebooted here. And in place of the Absinthe app, we have Cydia. So there you go, there's the jailbreak for the iPhone 4S uh, on iOS 5.0.1 untethered. Check out iJailbreak.com for lots of other jailbreak tutorials and uh, Cydia tweaks.